it is hard to build a successful business and it can get really complicated really tough to do there's a lot of things that you have to be able to do correctly because a lot of us go into a business thinking that we well thinking that and the same thing happened to me thinking that because we know a skill and we know how to do the thing that we're going to do in this case we know how to move people because we got some moving experience we work for or with a moving service before it's not that hard to catch on to we start the business thinking we know how to do the thing and so that's a good reason to start the business and we're like hey if we can make uh just a few dollars working for a moving service why not start my own business and make all the money and that's what we do that's what i did right and but very quickly you find out wait a minute running a business is not the same as doing the thing uh, there, there's two parts of it the first part is that I'm the technician I know how to go out and get somebody packed and moved the other part is how do you get customers how do you get reservations from those customers right how do you get them booked how do you sell what are you charging what what's your processes what are your disclaimers uh, how are you, uh, you know, your email confirmations? How are you uh, waiving liabilities? You know, material, crew. Now you got all these things that you have to manage, right? There's marketing, there's managing, and, and there's doing the work. But a lot of us, we get out there because we know how to do the work. We don't know the marketing. We don't know the managing of the business. And so what happens? Six months in, starts feeling like a heavy weight on our shoulders. Starts feeling like we're in over our heads. Starts feeling like, oh my God, what am I doing? I thought I could do this, make a few dollars, and I've been able to do it, make a few dollars, but now I'm starting to see I'm way in over my head. Now I'm starting to see I'm not a business owner. Uh, now I'm starting to see I did not create a business for myself, but I created a job for myself. It requires me 24-7. I can't leave work at work. If I'm at home, work comes with me. If I'm at church, work goes there. Uh, I can be out on a date. Work's going to follow me there. Uh, guys are hitting me up, texting me, calling me about a job they're on. Customers are hitting me up, calling me about some damage or some claim, right? Uh, and I've been through it, guys. I've been through all of this. So I know what I'm talking about because it's a headache. It's a nightmare and you start feeling overwhelmed. You just sit there going, do I really want to continue to do this? Is the money really worth it? I've, 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 I'm involved in everything, every aspect of the business I'm a part of. I cannot delegate this to anybody. The customer has a problem, I get a phone call. If the guys are, are late coming to work, I get a phone call. If the guys don't show up at, to work at all, I get a phone call. If the guys damage something, I get a phone call. If my crew, who's supposed to be in touch with the customer, is not reaching out to the customer, I get a phone call. If someone wants a quote, I get a phone call. If someone needs me to come out and look at inventory, I get a phone call. Every, every step of the way, no matter what I do, I'm sorry about the sun, guys, the glare, but every step of the way, no matter what I do, I get a phone call. And I cannot avoid it it's there all the time, 24 seven, phones blowing up, text messages are blowing up, and you just start feeling overwhelmed and you start just wondering, man, do I, do I really wanna to continue to do this? And I'm telling you, I've been there, done that, I know it can be super frustrating, and it makes you wanna just stop and give up because starting and running a successful business is not easy, it's very, very tough, and it can be hard to do, but You've got to be mentally prepared and understand this. You've got to make this commitment before you even get into this thing, right? You got to make the commitment that, hey, it's going to take me about three years to get this business where I want it to be. Gotcha. So that means if anything's happening in the first three years, that's tough. Hey, I'm, that's fine. I'm already committed to three years. I know it's going to take about that long to get it where I want it. Bam. Okay. Because you got to raise this baby. A business is a baby. It's dependent on you for everything. Where well, your job is to raise it, feed it, nurture it, teach it, educate it. And then eventually, 
your business is going to get to the next level where it'll be able to take care of itself and it won't need you for everything. And that's where you want it to be. But it does take time. Okay, so don't get frustrated. Don't beat yourself up. You're on the right path. I've been there. I've done it. It does take time to build the business because right now you got a job and that's fine. That's a start. But I've just informed you that you got to get out of the job environment and build a successful business, right? Where you're the CEO and not the person doing all the work, right? So, and you got to get to that point. So just stay with it, hang with it. It's going to work out. Uh, it can be tough in the beginning, but don't give up. You got to stick to your plan. You got to be committed, right? You got to be committed. Commitment's the only thing that's going to get you to the finish line. So you got to hang in there, right? And and so what I'll do uh, is I'll share advice with you like I do on this channel and try to help you as much as I can. I do offer coaching, not so much one-on-one -on -one anymore. Uh, it just takes a lot of time. If you want to do that, it's going to cost you a lot more. Just put, just put coaching in the comments and then we'll reach out and kind of see if we can work something out. Uh, that's the only way we can pretty much go about that. And and I'm very limited, so reach out ASAP. But if you wanna get the course and learn how to build, grow, and scale a successful moving business, I'll drop the link below. The course is very affordable. Click the link, grab the Moving Success Masterclass, get it, watch it. Don't just watch it, do everything that's on it. It's pretty, pretty practical. Uh, it's, it's some stuff that it's gonna blow your mind, but it'll be easy for you to do, and you can run a successful moving business. So. Uh, the link's going to be in the first comment below. I hope you guys get it so you can build your business and get ready for this next moving season so that you can have the business you desire. If you go out there and you don't know what you're doing, eventually you're going to get frustrated and want to give up. Please take my advice. Learn the things you don't know. Build a successful business and let it make you rich. All right. See you guys in the next video.